kiddo. I'm Grandma Goody. And I'm here to tell you a Bible story. Grandma Goody loves the kiddos and I love to give them sweet treats the 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 goodies you know that's why I'm called grandma goody but I heard that trick-or-treat was canceled because of that virus thingy and that made me sad the Bible says to love your neighbor so I had to figure out a safe way to give the kiddos in my neighborhood some treats if they showed up for trick-or-treat we built a candy slide now you stay tuned and after the bible story i'll show you some of the kiddos who came in costume or sent me pictures now you know how i thought they weren't gonna let the children come to me well there's a bible story about another time that happened and i'm gonna tell you that right now and this story is about jesus when he was a very famous rabbi now a rabbi that just means teacher. So he was going out teaching the people all about God. Lots of people were there and, and he was so famous. Thousands and thousands of people were coming. And uh, uh, in that crowd, there were some parents with their little children. And so uh, at one point, some of those parents got this idea. They said, we're going to have Jesus put his hands on our little children's heads and give them a blessing. And that seemed like a great idea. So they just picked up their kiddos and they started uh, going right lickety split right to Jesus. And boom, the disciples stopped them and they scolded them and, and said, no, you can't bring those children here. They'll bother Jesus. Well, you don't tell a mama that her child is a bother. So I have a feeling that that was pretty much a showdown. But anyway, Jesus was watching this go on. And whose side do you think Jesus was on? Well, Jesus got very angry at the disciples. And he said, you let the little children come to me. Let the little children come to me. And don't stop them. For the kingdom of heaven is made up of those who are like the children. And I'll tell you the truth. No one gets into the kingdom of heaven unless he becomes like a little child. And then I love this part. Jesus just opened up his arms and he welcomed all those children. I'm sure they just crawled up all over him. You know how kiddos are. Probably pulling at his beard and tweaking his nose and just hugging on him. And it said that Jesus put his hand on the children and he had to do it one by one because he's putting his hand on their head and he's blessing this one blessing this one and you know when every kiddo comes to my door i might look at a monster i might look at a princess but i know who they really are and i know that god loves that little child and wants to bless them and so I always give them a blessing, and of course, I give them lots of good treats. And so anyway, that's the story for today, and I want to remind you, Grandma Goody loves you, but God loves you more. Uh-oh, I forgot to tell you where to find the story in the Holy Bible. Okay, well, here's where you find it. You're going to look in the New Testament. And then the book you're going to look for is the book called Mark. And the chapter number is chapter 10. And then the itty bitty verses inside the words, that's starting at verse 13 through verse 16. Here are some of the kiddos and their folks who showed up for trick or treat. I want to thank you neighbors for letting me share your pictures. And of course, Bo had to join in the fun. Happy Halloween! We have such nice neighbors, and I especially want to thank those of you who subscribed to Grandma Goody's YouTube channel or mailed in pictures for me. Happy Halloween! Now this little girl had a giant spider on top of her head. And this fella remind me of that story where the wolf comes to eat the grandma. And then these here are the teenagers who stopped by. Remember, Grandma Goody loves you, but God loves you more. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween. 
Now, Grandma Goody has good things for you at the website, www.grandmagoody.com. And you can sign up there so you don't miss out on anything. And I'm going to do some special fun stuff for the holidays uh, so we can have a cozy, special holiday, even if we are all cooped up or locked down or whatever. So happy holidays. Bye-bye. <laughs>